Welcome to our water dump facility. Today we'll be cutting a totally different material than we did last time. We'll be cutting some wood products. We're kind of focusing on the dovetail aspect of making boxes and drawers. And the uniqueness of it, instead of taking it from a, being a, a hand done process, to an automated process. I can put a sheet on the deck, and at the end of it, I have parts that slip together seamlessly, giving me a very efficient process for doing dovetails. Hey, hey Chris, what's up? What are you working on today? Hey, so today we're doing an example of dovetail drawers on our woodworking platform. So are we using customized software, customized tooling? Yep, so we're gonna be using Enro to do all of our processing of our tool pathing, and we're using some custom tools to help create the joinery for the dovetails. So where, why you would typically do this on a, you know, a dovetail machine where you can do single pieces. I can put a full sheet of plywood down and basically generate dovetails all yep. of a sheet. So you can do a full nest of, uh, say you're doing a standard cabinet, you can do a full nest of drawers off one sheet of plywood right. uh, very easily. Okay, um, that makes it way more efficient and you get you know better yield. So you can set up a full set, depending on your kitchen design, process it through the nester, right to the machine, and from the machine, how much work is left in terms of cleanup or secondary processes to go from routing it to assemble? Uh, very light, we're looking for a clean edge when cutting this. We want to get that nice square corner when we're connecting those dovetails, obviously. Right. So any frayed edges or anything is going to look really bad. So we want to make sure that's nice and clean during our process. All right, cool. Well, I'll leave you at it and we'll talk about it later. Thanks, man. Hi there, welcome to another Axes webinar. My name is Chris Kunna. I'm an application specialist here with AAG. So today we're gonna to be talking about the software portion accompanying our dovetail webinar. So as you can see on screen here, I already have a basic kitchen design and laid out. Uh, we're using KCD to do the bulk of our design work regarding our file here. So as you can see, we have a basic bottom cabinet with two drawers, two doors. We have a farmer sink a top cabinet with two doors and a window here. So now we're gonna create these into parts. So we're gonna come over to our parts list here. This is our cut list methods on the side. Well, let's say we wanted to maybe just do the doors. Maybe we want to do the dovetails. We wanted to do the full frame or all of the parts as included. Then we could select that from this menu here and we can create part lists to fulfill any specific need or style that you need. So we're going to select our dovetails here. We're going to select our dovetail 9101 as that references the tool that we specifically use to cut these parts. I'm going to click calculate here. It's going to give me an output. So we're going to output this to our dovetail webinar folder and click OK. And here we go. As you can see, it has now created every part that we would need for our dovetail drawers, including the DXFs for the bottom, the male ends, as well as the female ends here. So now we can exit out of this menu, we can close here. So now we're gonna open this up in our Enroute 23. This is where we're gonna do our tool pathing and some basic edits to our parts. So opening up Enroute 23 here, uh, this is a CAD CAM software, it allows you to create, design, and tool path uh, as any parts that you need. Uh, today we're gonna be focusing on the automatic tool pathing functionality of this software. So we're gonna click our automatic tool path. It's gonna ask you what design software you're using. We are using KCD. As you can see, there are many different softwares that it can work with. We're gonna go over to our parts list here. As you can see, we have no parts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our parts list here. So if I open it up, add parts, go back to DXF, you can see we have dovetail webinar. And we're gonna to go to our CNC cut list here. We're gonna click open. And it's gonna generate, take all those DXFs that we made in KCD, and it's gonna basically generate them and apply tool paths as well as nest them. So here we are, we're gonna click process. Click OK. And here we are, we have a nest of two drawers for our webinar here. And we have two sets of males, two sets of females. And if I click over, we have both bottoms for those drawers. Now, we're only gonna process one drawer today, so I'm gonna delete this out here. So much like every, many other CAD CAM programs, you can do some basic edits and changes to your file. So I'm also gonna spin this around. I wanna rotate it just so it sits a little bit better with our vacuum system. So here, 
We're going to quickly rotate it 90 degrees. And we're going to now move it into a better location on our sheet. There we are. So as you can see, we have two male and two female pieces that are going to create our drawer. And we have one bottom piece that's going to fit in as the bottom of the drawer here. So now that we have our parts tool path and process, we're going to come over to our output. So from here, you can output based on your strategy, object, or priority. I like to do tool order personally. So we're going to select our half inch tool as our first tool. We're going to use our quarter inch down cut as our next tool to do all those male edges and fine detail work. Then we're going to use our vortex 9101 tool. This is going to create the specific shape for the dovetail joinery. And finally, we're going to finish with our 3 8 compression tool to do all of the outer profile work. So we're going to click the file here now. So I've already created a couple of NZ files. We're going to select webinar dovetails here, click save. Yeah, we're going to replace this NC code. There we are. Now we're going to send this to the machine as per mo uh, most axes platforms. You will have your A2MC app manager. We're going to open up our file manager here. We're going to connect to our machine. This is the specific IP for our woodworker platform that's out in our demo room. Click connect. So there we go. Now we're connected to our machine. We're going to use our left hand panel to go through our computer to select our dovetails webinar folder. So there we are. We're going to send it over to the machine. We're going to select it there. All right. And we're going to see you out of the machine to begin cutting. Thank you.
So we were able to do this type of joinery specifically due to the tooling that we use for this. So as you can see, we have a rounded dovetail tool here. This is ideal for getting into those nice tight nooks here. So the female edge, that was what we're looking for. As you can see, these edges are nice and clean. That's what we want post-process. All right, so let's see how well these fit together now. So as you see, nice and tight, that's what we're looking for. We want a nice square edge, nice clean corners, and nice square parts so that our drawers are perfectly constructed. And then after we'll put the bottoms in.